How's it going everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about key fobs and plasti dips. So stick around. So what I want to talk about a little bit is the plasti dip of uh, a key fob. So I'm not going to show you the process of doing the key fob. I just want to kind of show you the after effect because I know a lot of people are kind of questioning, hey I'm going to spray paint my key fob and if I mess up what am I going to do? Well, what I want to do is show you some of the things with Plasti Dip that makes it so nice and versatile is you can paint it and peel it off. Um, so on this particular one here, I painted it a white just to kind of distinguish between the front one and number two key fob. And here I've got a protector that Tesla gave me. It's just a rubber protection with a key ring on it. So the whole fob is covered in white and this black strap is just a piece of rubber. But what I want to show is this has been done for about three weeks and if you notice it's starting to peel off. Uh, just by putting it in your pocket I found out that it's not that durable. So I've kind of uh, abandoned and I think I'm going to abandon this process. So I took the cover off. And another thing I noticed was, even though I tried to get down in these grooves really well, I don't think it got too deep and would seal that off. So if you're going to use this as a waterproofing method, I would probably not recommend it. Um, just because it, it these gaps are still pretty good. And I put pretty heavy coats on there. And still, it's you can still see the lines pretty well. But, if you want to distinguish between a 1 or a 2, or just protect it from scratches, this is a good method. Um, but again, it's not going to be durable because, as you can see, mine's coming off. So, um, so here's one painted. Um, what I'm going to do now is just show you how it peels off. So my tool of choice today is going to be just fingers and I've got some um, toothpicks here and that's just to get into the little tight areas but here you go I want to start by showing you you know here it is covered and this is how easy it is to pull off it's almost like one of those satisfying videos of, or when you buy something new and it has the plastic on it but you can see it just peels right off and that's the nice thing about Plasti Dip is if you don't like it you can always take it off. And, and here we go. One thing on Plasti Dipping, the thicker you can get the coating, the better it comes off. So that's it coming off. Now one thing I've got is I've got some left in the grooves here and what that's gonna I'm gonna do is just work on it with this here and try to get it out. So I will come back once I've got that finished and show you how it looks in the end. So as you can see here, a little bit of work, it all came off. Um, down in these grooves here, I found that working with your plain old fingernail would work better. Um, and it took me probably all of a minute or two to try to get all that out. So anyway, so it doesn't hurt to try it. Like I said, it comes off very easy. So give it a shot on your key fob if it's something you're looking at. You know, like I said, it will protect it. And if you don't have a lot of keys in your pocket or something, or it's not as rough with it, it will probably last you longer. But anyway, it's something worth trying. It won't hurt anything. It peels right off if you don't like it. There's multiple colors you can get. So, like I said, you can distinguish between one or another. Or, uh, I have seen the whole silicone ones that you can get. Maybe it's plastic dip in it and then put it in the silicone. And that'll give you the waterproofing you're looking for. 
I personally don't want to test mine, so um, I hate to kill the 200 and something dollar key fob just by testing out if Plasti Dip will work or not on the waterproofing. So I'm not willing to try that one. So if somebody else is, go for it. But anyway, I, uh, I, did, I did like the way it turned out. I just wished it was a little more durable. I'm going to try it again and go with a little bit heavier coat on it and see if that does better. So anyway, thought I would share this experience with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also please subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you come back again. Thanks and have a great day.